My name is Carol Smith. I work at Google, and I want to get you all working on open source software. And the way that I want to do that is through a new contest that we are running that starts on November 22nd, and it's called Google Code-In. And it's for 13 to 18 year olds. So, so does anybody know what open source software is? Anybody, anybody heard of Linux? Raise your hand. Yeah. yeah. So Google likes open source software a lot. You may not know this, but all of the machines and all of the data centers and all of the world that are running Google right now are running Linux. And so we like to participate in open source software development. We have chosen some organizations who are working on open source software. Some of these names you might recognize, some of them you might not, that's okay. These organizations are basically, they all need you guys to work on stuff for them. And so what they're gonna do, starting on November 22nd, they're gonna have a bunch of tasks on our website, and I'll give you the website information in just a second. They're gonna have a bunch of tasks that you can claim. And these tasks are gonna have a difficulty level associated with them, so they'll be easy, medium, or hard. There's a point level associated with that difficulty, so an easy task is one point, a medium task is two points, and a hard task is four points. You'll have a duration, the amount of time that they think it'll take. And then there's gonna be different types of tasks, so it's gonna be tagged with what type of thing it is. So it's not just coding. So you'll see code at the top there. That's one type of task that might be available to work on. But there's gonna be a whole bunch of other stuff. Anybody here know another language? You can do a translation of a document. Anybody here like UI design or vid videos? Yeah. You can make videos for us. You can do logo design. You could do a documentation about a new feature. You could do a video how-to. There's gonna be a whole bunch of different types of tasks that you can work on. So for, for successfully completing at least one task, we send you a t-shirt. Uh, if you complete three tasks, again, you get 100 bucks. For every three tasks that you complete, you get $100 up to a maximum of 500 bucks. It's a pretty sweet deal. So I'm sure you all have your notebooks out the ready. Let me, <laughs> let me give you a website. The URL is Google, I'm sure you all know that word. <laughs> Google. Dash, yeah. Melange. That's all up there, M-E-L-A-N-G-E dot com. That's the website. That's where we're gonna be running this program from. So you'll see on the right here, there's a sign-in button. Everybody have a Gmail account? Yes. Great. No. If no. you don't have a Gmail account, that's okay. You can sign up for one. Don't worry about it. You're going to sign in on the right-hand side with your Gmail account. And on the left, you're going to see a link under that, that header that says user right now. It's going to say create profile. All you have to do to create a profile is just enter, uh, choose a username and enter a name that you want to be publicly displayed. I would recommend you only use your first name. And then basically you're ready to start participating in the contest on November 22nd, once you've created a profile. And once the contest starts, so start at midnight on November 22nd, you're gonna see a link on that left-hand side that's gonna say list all tasks. Basically, you click on that and you're gonna see everything that is available that you can work on. And you can choose. You can choose whether you wanna work on an easy task, on a hard task, maybe you wanna work on a whole bunch of, of hard tasks because they're four points and you wanna get higher in the rankings to try and get that trip to Google. Or maybe you only want to work on a few easy tasks and just get the money. It's up to you. <laughs> you, you, get, you get the money regardless of the difficulty or the type of task that you work on, as long as you successfully complete that up to three tasks. Hold on just a second. So on that, on that like I said, on the left-hand nav bar, you're gonna see a link that says list all tasks. So all you do is click on that link. You're gonna see a list of everything that you can work on. Click on one of those tasks once you've chosen one, chosen one and you're gonna claim the task. Basically just means I, I want to work on it. The organizations are also doing something really great. They're providing mentors for you. So if you claim a task that you think is gonna be interesting but a little difficult, you can talk to these organizations, you can talk to these mentors about the task. You can help have them help work with, with you on it. This is a really collaborative process. Open source software is a lot about collaborating and communicating online. So a lot of this is gonna be about working with your mentor to, to complete these tasks. Once you've completed them, you submit your work on that same task screen. And unfortunately, I can't show it to you because the contest isn't open yet, but it'll be very obvious when you log in. And you submit it. And then the organization will decide whether or not you've successfully completed it. And if you did, for that one task that you worked on, you get a t-shirt. We'll send it to you sometime after January 10th when the contest ends. 
And like I said, you complete three tasks, we'll send you 100 bucks and a t-shirt. Complete six tasks, we'll send you 200 bucks and a t-shirt. And so on, and so on. Um, now, I also mentioned the points uh, associated with each of these tasks. If you are one of the 10 people with the most points at the end of the contest, the contest ends on January 10th. If you're one of the people with the most points at the end of the contest, you get an all expenses paid trip to Google with a family member. There is one caveat. You have to get your parents' permission. Hopefully you can all do that. <laughs> but you're not allowed to participate in the contest if you don't have a parent or guardian's permission. Wait, how do you get the parents? That's the catch. That's the only catch. <laughs> um, you're going to have to submit a form that says that your parent or guardian agreed to you participating in the contest before you get your money. That's the only catch. So the contest starts on November 22nd and ends on January 10th. And you have as much time within that, the bounds of the contest to complete as many tasks as you want. Some of the tasks are gonna take you maybe a day to complete. Some of the tasks might take you up to two weeks to complete. It depends on the difficulty level, depends on the type of task. Um, you could choose a whole bunch of tasks that only take you a day to complete if you wanted to. It's up to you. It's whatever, whatever you'd like to do. And you can talk to the organizations, as I said, and get more help on it. This is intended to be a collaborative process. So that is Google coding. So let me open it up for questions. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Does it matter the quality of the thing of the um, task? Because like, like, um, what if you like try your best and they think it's not that good? And does that matter? Uh, yes, the, the, the organization does have to basically um, say that you successfully completed the task, and so yes, the quality does matter. Um, there's a few things uh, that you can do. One is if you, if you claim a task and you realize, you know what, this is just way too hard and I want to do something else, you can unclaim it and basically put it back in the pool of tasks. So you don't have, you can only work on one task at a time. Sorry, I didn't say that. You can only work on one task at a time. So if you don't want to work on that one anymore, you just put it back in the pool. If you work on it, you do your best, and the organization says, you know what, it's not quite what we were looking for, they can give you a deadline extension. They can tell you you get another 24 hours, 48 hours, another week to complete it, whatever, whatever they decide. So that's another thing. And you can also ask for an extension. You can say, you know what, I would do a really great job on this if I just had 24 more hours. So there you go. Yes, back there. There's going to be thousands of tasks available. And, and keep in mind, this is a global program. So you guys are going to be working, there's going to be students all over the world who are claiming, claiming these tasks. So I would actually recommend that you go on that website at, on November 22nd so you get your pick of what task you want to work on. Go ahead. But, if, but are, there, um, are there like lots of options between like easy, medium, and difficult? Yes, there will be lots of, of all types and varieties and, and difficulty of tasks, for sure. Yes, good. More than what that she was asking, can more than one person be working on a task, the, the same task at the same time? No, once you have claimed a task, you are the only person working on that task. Uh -huh. And you, it gets, it's your task until you decide to either unclaim it or submit work on it. Yeah. Um, how do you get in contact with the people you're working for? Like, so who's the task? With me? You? I can give you my business card afterward if you want to talk to like my team. Right. Like, yeah. uh, is, is that what you're asking? Mm, sort of. So like, uh, wait. So we're going to be working on specific coding. So like, are we going to be talking to those businesses or? Are, like, yeah, I mean, the idea with these tasks is that you're getting, in con you're contacting these organizations and talking to them about the task and what they're looking for. I mean, if they ask you to create a logo, you probably want to ask them what they what, want, right. what type of logo they want, right? Um, so it's it's intended to be a, a communicative process. The way you get in touch with them is. Um, first of all, on the task, you have a dialogue box that you, you can exchange messages with them. Um, that's probably the best way. Um, the second is, uh, for each of these websites, again, if you click on the, these links, you'll be redirected to their page, and you can, you can view their mailing list, their IRC channel, and basically public email addresses where they're willing to be contacted and ask questions about. Does that help? Yes. Okay. So do I have more questions? <laughs> it's got quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, I don't think that that's going to happen, but if it does, <laughs> um, you, can, you can ask the mentoring organization to create a new one for you. Yes, you can talk to them about it. I don't think that that's going to be a problem. We're going to have thousands of tasks in there, so I wouldn't worry too much about it.
it's it's not necessarily going to be computer science required at all for the hard tasks. Um, the hard tasks might be coding problems. It's possible. Um, we certainly have a lot of hard coding problems that we'd like you guys to work on. Um, but the hard tasks might also be translating a really long document into Cantonese or something like that. I'm just giving you an example. Um, so it might not necessarily require any computer science knowledge at all. Any other questions? Oh, also, yeah. oh sorry. It's okay. It, it's a complete thing uh, thinks that your task was not successful. Can you choose another task? Yes, you can. You can put that task back in the pool and claim another one. Or if you like working on that task and you just didn't do it quite right, you can also ask for a deadline extension to work on, try and work on it again.